Welcome to our live training session number 32, part four. In this video, we're gonna take a look at our high cam fuel and ignition timing tuning, taking a look at our various cam angle tables that we have to work with, setting our cam angle blend, and then finally setting our VTEC engagement point so we can complete the tuning on this naturally aspirated 2.4 liter swapped Acura RSX. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Acura RSX. In the last video, we completed our low cam fuel and ignition timing as well as our cam angle blend. So now we're ready to move into our high cam operation and focus on our zero degree cam angle fuel and ignition timing tables so we can get those mapped out and use this as the basis for the rest of our cam angle pairings and our fuel and ignition timing, just as we did on the low cam. So the first thing I'm gonna do is jump in here to my high cam operation. Um, we can see here that I'm not on my lightning bolt. I don't have that clicked. I'm not live, so I'm able to switch over here into the VTEC maps because we do have this options, uh, tables of all VTEC. If I was live with it, it wouldn't let me click over here and, and be able to edit this and work with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at our breakpoints here in our high cam table. We need to go and optimize our breakpoints so it's gonna make sense for this engine. We can see our breakpoints are going out here to 11,000 RPM. We're gonna be going nowhere near that kind of RPM RPM on this engine, we're essentially going to be wasting all of this space. We'll probably go here at about 8,500. So we're going to be wasting the last couple breakpoints. And depending on what our VTEC engagement point is going to be at, I'm guessing between maybe 36 to 4,200, uh, we're going to make sure we have enough RPM spread on the low end of the table so that we have as many breakpoints as we can in our table here so that we can get the most accurate fuel and the spark timing that we were going to be able to run and, and dial in for our tuning. So what we'll do here in our high cam fuel. So we're, again, we're zero degree. We're only focusing on our zero degree. We've already went into our zero degree uh, variable cam table. We've zeroed this out when we were creating our base map. So we're focusing just on our zero degree high cam. We can see in the number two icon here, it's a high cam. Uh, I'm gonna go into my breakpoints and start to scale these out. Now, the thing about the breakpoints here, um, we only have so many that we can actually work with and we need to make sure we have adequate resolution again for kind of the application we're working with 8500 is going to be the maximum i'm going to be taking this to what i'm going to do right now is change this i'm going to go here to something like um, 8100 and then i'm going to go here to something like 8200 now you're going to see why i'm going to do this in a second um, it's going to be allowing me to then drop down my maximum point here. If I wanted to go here, let's assume I wanted to set this at 8200, the highest. We can see the next break point's at 83. If I set it at 82, it's going to be telling me there's an error there. I can't go below 83 as my next break point. So that's why I've scaled it out here and I've dropped some of these values down. I'm going to go here to 8500. And then I'm going to move down here in my increments, probably going in about 300 RPM. That should be sufficient um, in moving in steps here. So go to 82. We can see that's going to give me error there because that's going to be my next break point. So let's go and scale some things real quick and let's kind of move some stuff down. So this sometimes is a little bit annoying. Um, we can't set the break points exactly like because it's uh, going to be looking at that logic where it's not going to let you scale below the next break point. That wouldn't make sense in the table the way it's going to be laid out. We're going to just drop, drop these way down so it's not going to be giving us problems. So the next data point here, um, we'll go from 83. Actually, we have to go do this one here. Let's do 8,000. Let's go to 83. We'll go to 82. And we'll go here to, let's go to 7,900. Again, moving at 300 RPM increments. Next one. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.